So, Ariana Fitz being missing. Like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two things combined and make them into one. And I'm a Discovery Influencer. That's in fact indeed truth. So yes, Ariana Fitz. Her being missing and her mother was murdered, murdered as well as buried. There's very various questions on if the child could be alive. I kind of believe so. I'll get into that much later. I do, in fact, think that Ariana uh, is alive. As she may be being held against her will. Does that make sense? Despite her being a child, she might be being kept somewhere away from public eyes is what I'm trying to say uh, in relation to when people were, were in question of the suspicious babysitters if they could have had something to do with that I, I, I indeed think so right a shady babysitter well a few babysitters as well as shady pastor yes a shady pastor not pastors pastor more than likely had something to do with the child's disappearance so yeah because you can in fact hide a child right many people were feeling well maybe the child is dead seeming she just went dis in disappearance that was february 2016 and you yeah let me get back to this so ariana fitz was last seen in oakland california february 2016 as I stated before, but she wasn't reported missing until April 5th, 2016. And the location of her being reported missing up from San Francisco, California. So it's various locations. It's kind of the zigzag and dates because see, that's kind of odd for a child to say be last seen February 2016 and then not be reported missing until two months later around almost two months later right so in ariana being missing the mother of ariana nicole fitz was found murdered and buried in mclaren park in san francisco which is known to be not not a lot of people know mclaren park in San Francisco to be known as a dumping ground for dead bodies not a lot of dead bodies but it has been known to have a history of dumping just if you want to get rid of some bodies you go over there yes that that's not that's not recommended for you over there <laughs> watching and listening to this but that's indeed yeah dumping ground so that's in fact where her body was buried she was murdered and buried at mclaren park in san francisco investigators stated they feel that ariana was not in the company of her mother when her mother was killed so if she wasn't in the company of her mother is to ask where is she dear viewers consider that if a child because see when children go missing oftentimes the parents have something to do with it right mother father even aunts uncles immediate family right when it's situations like this it's not always stranger danger it, it could be someone very near and dear close to to the family or somebody that acted as if they were trying to be near and dear close to the family i once again believe this is one of those situations somebody placed themselves close enough to the mother of this child getting close wanting the child see how cute she is wanting the child for themselves killing the mother off and then taking the child but somewhere months before, because see the dates, February 2016, for a child to be last seen once again, that has to be stated like 10 times. For a child to be last seen February 2016, 
February 2016th, and then she's not reported missing until April 2016th. Does it say something more was going down? There, there's something more deep that was there, right? And the child's mother was known to keep secrets, in a sense, to herself, right? Some people, when they fall on hard times, they try to keep certain things to themselves if they think they're going to be judged even in success people been known to keep stuff to themselves right they don't want to be judged or taken certain ways right and yet for the mother she had been known to endure hard times right so that's why it's questionable why it took that long for the child's disappearance uh yes to be re reported right T two whole months uh so February 2016 let me skip down the the two with the mother falling on hard times oftentimes uh, children protective services say the mother had she had experienced homelessness right at one point right just to say child protective services they can intervene and stuff in a situation like that which is too why say a mother possibly wouldn't want to reach out and say report the child as missing because they'll they'll want to know well what's the living situation in the environment where she was staying at the individual that was over uh the dwelling place of staying there was a moving there there uh, it's a uh, inconsistencies pertaining to addresses right child protective services uh they they look at stuff like that right one establishment pertaining to the shady pastor i mentioned in my opening and the shady babysitters when nikki the child's mother ariana's mother before she was killed her living situation living with the pastor the pastor was taking money from her right being shady is not like pastorly like to be that way right but she wouldn't give her a key to the premises she had she had nikki the woman that got killed the child's mother she had her paying rent paying all this money but wouldn't provide her with a key that's to say even a, a child could be taken away in sort of situations like that right sort of situations like yeah something like that right but the the suspicious babysitters it was expressed by close individuals to the child's mother nikki right that once again she didn't want the child to be taken away because to be living in various homes or living in homes that is really not your own right each state to state view certain things like that differently and yet even they would delve even more into her history pertaining to what she hang around individuals doing drugs what type of person was that pastor what type of person was the the babysitters all that which is why once again the mother more than likely whatever that situation was it could even be more something that didn't really have anything to do with her pertaining to say the child being missing she might not have even known where the child was because to know that even people act like they want to be cool and close with you and yet kidnap your own child right it's to say you might not even want to reach out to authorities because you, you don't know a mother might not want want to know as in the end result with that she might have if she was a private person she probably kept it that way for a reason so i stated the fact that the mother had been homeless at one point until she once again found herself involved with the suspicious babysitters and that shady pastor nikki she even shared a living situation with the suspicious babysitters uh yes and that shady pastor right and one of the child's babysitters had a history of murdering her child's father that's where the whole picture gets all odd and in between right 
the child was in was being taken care of at times as in a babysitter the child was being handled by a woman that indeed murdered her her child's father her children's father she had multiple kids her children's father that kind of was a wrong choice on the end of of nikki sometimes people yeah can be naive and even her family expressed that after she was murdered that she didn't really know sometimes you when you fall on hard times you try to take the cheap route as in you don't have that much money you try to go what is available available options pertaining to babysitters and yet that's a wrong choice to be having your child around somebody that was a murderer because to know that if you make that person mad is to say they can do anything to your child to get back to you in the ways of evilness right let's stick with suspicious babysitters in the shady pastor right uh so her keeping company with those type of individuals more so a, a woman that killed her children's father she said she served a few years the individual that killed um the father of her children right sometimes people get life for that sort of thing right she shouldn't be allowed to be around kids right uh, it could be once again why this situation uh, played out and is playing out the way that it is. No child to be found, right? So, <clears throat> once again, the suspicious babysitters, but more so that shady pastor. I look at people like that, the shady pastor. Because to be acting all spiritual and holy ghost or whatever you want to call it is to say there's more to even that this shady minister pastor uh, to look her up as to see all type of uh trails of internet where she social media where, where the shady pastor be online and she has brochures and all the rest on her church at her being the pastor street pastor right to know that a person is a street pastor to know they more likely came from the streets and now they want to whatever minister to other street people there's more to even that right i'm not judging i'm just stating a fact remember a baby is missing and i as i go into more to this whole yes everything you will start to see why i feel the way that i feel on even that shady pastor right some people call themselves pastors and try to whatever and yet they're not real pastors right so the suspicious babysitters as well as a shady pastor at times would with would withhold the child from the child's mother see what i'm saying the shady pastor more so than the babysitters themselves would take the child from the child's mother and not give the child back the the the, the shady pastor you hold in a child that doesn't belong to you and you're taking the child on trips without asking the mother and making the mother livid and angry because you didn't get her approval because see look to go on trips is to go to other states as in out of states pinpoint footing and even that sort of thing if i take a, a child away from the child's mother and i don't i don't say well you know can I gain your approval to take your baby to go out of state to go here or go there? That's to say there's a likelihood of even kidnap. I just said, right? That, that shady pastor will overstep grounds and bounds and take that little girl wherever she felt that she wanted to take her and never even asked the mother. The babysitters as well, but more so that shady pastor, right? she wouldn't allow the mother to even see the child i said that for like the third or fourth time fifth time right she, they even took the baby to disneyland without asking the mother's approver approval which left the mother angry she she was highly upset about the fact that they didn't even ask her can we take the baby to disneyland they took her anyway and basically disregarded 
the mother's feelings. It, there was no respect there. They just like, well, we're going to take the baby to Disneyland because we want to take her and F your feelings despite you being the mother. That's indeed what happened, right? So, claiming young Ariana, uh, the pastor would indeed do that sort of thing. Not on one occasion, multiple occasions, the shady pastor would indeed claim young Ariana as her own. What type of pastor? She didn't give birth to the child. Because see, some people have mental whatever issues to try to uh, believe that something is their child. Somebody's baby is theirs and yet it's not, right? And that's how babies get kidnapped. And now that mother is acting like the mother that she done killed, right? People do all type of scandalous, shady stuff, right? Let me pause. The, the living with her, because see, you don't know how people sit, set up situations. This street pastor, a shady pastor... I'll stick with that. She could have allowed Nikki, as in gained her trust, to have Nikki, the child's mother, come live with her just so she can gain more access to that baby. To see how cute and pretty that baby was is to say anybody would have wanted her, right? Uh, the pastor was paid rent by Nikki. And the pastor was also paid babysitting payments. She was she was paid for Nikki to stay there with the baby, as well as she was paid uh, for babysitting young Ariana. Yet the pastor would screw over Nikki pertaining to the payments. She would overcharge her, as in max out everything. She would make her pay the rent and make her pay extra fees on top of fees. To the fact it got where even Nikki couldn't really afford it. Harley, I mean, it got to a point where there was really no money at all. And not only that, once again, that shady pastor never once gave Nikki a key to the apartment. On top of that, Nikki was working at Best Buy. Y you know how much money people make at Best Buy. To, to be paying some shady pastor all this money as well as babysitting fees to stay at an apartment where you're not allowed to have a key is to say there's something wrong there, right? Why didn't why didn't she give see that that's a problem right there. That 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 sticks out the most. To stay because see to be a pastor is to say there's an openness there. If she was going to be like that, not giving the woman a key, she could have just sent her on her way to a homeless shelter. Because for anybody to want to kidnap anything is to say, well, let me not give the mother uh, of the child. Let me not give her a key. I, I can set up and control this whole situation and possibly even be abusive, which it led to even that, not physically, verbally the shady pastor how she would act towards nikki the child's mother right but but the best way to be trying to kidnap and all the rest is to not give the woman a key despite her paying all this rent and babysitting uh yes payments that that pastor took complete advantage of nikki and nikki staying there with her baby complete took complete advantage and this is not just out my own mouth but this is those that were close to nikki as well those who knew her personally T took complete advantage what pastor uses homeless and what pastor takes advantage of homeless uh hopeless and helpless people who are down on their luck who who does that Usually, pastors are supposed to help you back up on your feet, right? That That's what they're supposed to do, I'm thinking. 
But the pastor, she in fact did exactly the opposite. Nikki fell on hard times as a pastor, so intention were nothing more but to get over on the poor woman. And that she did, right? Uh, so Nikki, once again, couldn't afford child care, which is why she stuck with the shady babysitters. People that were close to Nikki were leery of that. Who wouldn't be knowing that murder uh, was close by? Brittany took the one babysitter that killed her child's uh, father, her children's father. So the pastor, why my focus is on that shady pastor is because she stalked. She completely stalked Nikki. She, she stalked her with demanding and so what demeaning text messages. She stalked Nikki demanding her to bring my baby back. What, what pastor does that s says to another grown adult? Who, who do the pastor said to Nikki, bring my baby back. And yet that pastor did not birth anybody's baby. That baby, in fact, belonged to the woman that was killed and buried. It's an odd story. For some other woman to say, bring my baby back and stalk you with messages as I say even death can come out in that a, a woman demeans you and stalks you all this going on in the text messaging uh demanding a baby that didn't belong to her I said that for like the 80th time what even that is to say even death tragedy could await in that shows issues So, since the shady pastor stalked Nikki before death, demanding Nikki to give her own child over to the twisted uh, shady pastor, could, could the shady pastor know any uh, whereabouts on Ariana in 2020? This is like right where the point I bump heads with shady people of a missing kids right uh because see the text message is told on themselves you you don't uh that trip taking babies places that ain't your baby or all that all tells on itself so where's the arrest for the shady not just the babysitters but the pastor as well right Why that don't that don't even seem right? Because all I can think of and I did from the beginning was an evilness, a, a evilness on the end of that shady pastor with them text messages, and it was it got to the point of abuse, and I said that, or her saying to Nikki, "Bring my baby back." Just imagine in your mind if somebody was evil saying that, "Bring my baby back," and stalking what's the ending outcome in that yeah the, the text messages got to the point of her uh stalking and harassing and demanding and demeaning as well as being verbally abusive to nikki to the point that even those that were close to nikki that knew nikki personally feared for nikki's life and safety on her own end based upon them text messages because they felt that even something wasn't right and even in today they feel that something is not right they feel that a baby was taken by somebody uh that wanted the baby and yet the baby didn't belong to them right and it was more than likely an evil character with that sort of thing so could the shady pastor and her shady babysitting family members could they have killed nikki to take nikki's child as their own didn't i ask that before it's repetitious some people get the zoning out is why i repeat often 
Could the shady pastor and her shady babysitting family members, could they have killed Nikki to take Nikki's child as their own? Remember once again, the shady pastor and the shady babysitters were all siblings. That's why I'm asking that question. The, the pastor shouldn't even be on that level, right? Shows that she's a joke. The, the pastor, I'm saying. What pastor stalks people on a text message as well as demean them on a text message over a baby? Usually you do that sort of thing and somebody broke into your church or something. And not try to do all that to take somebody else's baby, which don't belong. I can see straight through that. So, my thoughts, what I feel, the babysitter uh, who killed her children, this is what I'm about to say. My thoughts on the situation is, I feel the babysitter who killed her children's father could have killed Nikki. And she more than likely was ordered to do so by none under other than the shady pastor. Does that make sense? That's a twist and turn on every level. Yes, I feel that the I feel the babysitter, the one that killed her children's father, could have killed Nikki, and she more than likely was ordered to do so by none other than that shady pastor. Makes a whole lot of sense. Because if a pastor herself is evil and say she got somebody in the family remember once again that family member that killed their uh the father of her children right that was again the pastor's sister so why not why would why let me see why not bypass an opportunity like that to, to want a baby is to have your sibling your sister kill semen the sister already has experience and murder It would have been for a woman who, yeah, because see, there's experience there with killing. Nikki walked right into death and didn't even know it was coming, right? To, to be guided by that is to say, siblings oftentimes will do anything for one another, even murder someone and take their child. As in, set it up, the situation up before, as in, February could have been the time and place and location and all the rest pertaining to them taking the child away from Nikki. Way back February 2016, and then the reporting the child came later, months later, right? That could have all been well th thought out and set up by them, shady folks babysitters and pastors right i see straight through that sort of thing that's x-ray vision murder for hire is like what that would be considered it comes to mind murder for hire and yet that and yet the pastor might not have even paid the sibling they might just have did uh, some type of deed once again because they were siblings right So, the murder of Nikki occurred April 2016. I said that in the opening. That this just all sound like it was set up before. Going back to my opening, I don't think Ariana was killed. She may be being hidden, hidden someplace of from the public eyes yes in another location she might be being she may be being visited by the shady pastor because to hide a child is to say people think well you know the child is not with the shady pastor or the babysitters and yet there's all type of locations even a child can be hidden 
you, you can hide a baby all type of places and then you being a shady person go visit or something right that's common sense that's awareness right there uh yeah because some people would they would just be like well sh the baby uh is nowhere around you know uh, the shady pastor and the shady babysitters have been questioned by authorities that still don't that don't mean anything right children have been known to be hidden that's what kidnap is for you hide a child and then you go visit the child when you feel like go visiting the child and yet you keep it hidden right uh out of state overseas right this because see i'm saying that the time frame per the time the timing the time frame pertaining to when the child was last seen and when the child was reported missing that's a lot of space and time and gap to go hide a child somewhere even if it was to board a plane or something and go fly out and fly her overseas somewhere over a border to hide her enough to tuck her away somewhere right that's a loose string that hangs out for those that's questioning. Nobody has stated that yet but me. Uh, two months is a good enough time to go hide a child somewhere, even overseas, outside of the USA. Because, see, to know that uh, the shady pastor, as well as the shady pastor's babysitting family members, her siblings, right to know they're they're not white or they're not black is to say well there's something else outside of that right you got races nationalities you got all, you got all type of things that play into who came from where what backgrounds and cultures right it's to say even they could have family members that are not uh in america enough to send the child back yes over the border right uh, nikki the way that she was murdered sound very personal as in they wanted whoever murdered her and the way that they murdered her when her body was found it was found in a fetal position right with a board over her body right uh yeah her body that's more so uh somebody had spray painted it looked like almost graffiti or something they spray painted on a board a wooden board but her being of in a fetal position i tried to see well was there any type of uh domestic violence abuse because at first i was in question question of a baby's father as in her relationship with him would kind of if there was any right because to die in a fetal position right to be in a fetal position is to say well you got to think about rigor mortis how long it takes to settle in if a person was being hit or kick hit or kicked or abused or something like that that's to say even a person would turn into the fetal position right on the floor or something Say if they're left there to die for a while, body, uh, everything gets stiff, right? The rigor mortis, right, sets in. And then the body is moved, say, where it was uh, placed, buried at the park, right? You have to look at even the time frame or even that the fetal position of a body who could have placed their hands on a body if she did, say, uh say die in that position a fetal position or if say she wasn't in a fetal position she was placed in a fetal fetal position because even a grown man could have helped carry her body and placed it in a fetal position uh the process it is so many ways to look at it because the woman could i could even say that she could have even be, been buried alive does that make sense? It, it, it's all type of not really pointing to her situation like that, but you can I can't even say that as an example for those that want to know. Well, if somebody is found dead, buried in a fetal position, how could they have died? How could they have been killed? Whatever, right? You can in fact be buried alive and go into a fetal position depending on the dirt, uh, soil, and all the rest. 
but depending on that not completely on her situation but i'm just once again giving the example right people have been known to die all type of ways be killed all type of ways and yet that fetal position will still point to who could have did what and why that, that could even point to domestic uh violence uh that could even point to whether these uh suspicious babysitters or shady pastor has something to do with it because i know uh adults are not lightweight it's to say even if you kill somebody you gotta carry them you're gonna more than likely pick them up and carry them right uh, enough to bury them so you would have to consider the body weight and all the rest and even body strength pertaining to that sort of thing was it one person that carried her body or was it two did they use a card to transport her body or was it a regular uh yeah was it a car or was it a pickup truck see what i'm saying you can even decipher all the way down as in scope something all the way out because it even think like law enforcement on my end is to even be able to see pertaining to that x-ray there's not a lot of time that would take even five six hours sitting on this camera trying to decipher pertaining to who could have even picked her up by hands body strength and all the rest pertaining to that right so yes fetal position can tell you things uh wait So yeah, the, the, um, some type of way this situation, you can tell uh, the intention was to take the child from the beginning. The moment, I'm, I'm guessing I could be wrong. The moment the shady pastor or whoever uh, in a situation, shady babysitters, all of them sick, twisted, right? Uh, yeah, I said that. Who cares? Some people get offended, let them stay offended. But whoever laid eyes on this baby, when they first saw the child, more than likely is probably when they wanted her. And probably thought it out, well, I'm going to set this up or we going to set this up to get this baby from this mother, right? It all adds up to they, it in fact does, right? So it was stated that Nikki was to meet up with an unnamed male before her death. Supposedly, the mother of Ariana, before she was murdered, she was supposed to supposed to meet up with um, an unnamed male. Her situation, her living situation, had changed. Right? She left out uh, the apartment with let me not lose footing with this she she moved out of the apartment because see even the people that she knew nikki ariana's mother they knew her personally they didn't like where the situation was going they felt like the shady pastor was becoming too verbally abusive so they indeed moved her out into another location uh nikki in, in fact there was a employee that worked at best buy the same place where she worked that offered her to stay with her live with her got it got ariana the little child a bed and everything right will buy the young child gifts and everything right that place of living was more welcoming than where the shady pastor and the shady babysitters were at right so the li living environment living situation had changed because nikki's close yes individuals that were close to her kind of fear for her life her life and the child's life which is why the living situation progressed over to somewhere else right nikki stand with uh a co-worker from her job best buy right and so nikki had text she she indeed um was corresponding sending messages with the individual she was staying staying with right and in her 
talking back and forth she once again mentioned that she was going to meet up with a male at a burger spot an unnamed male right but she didn't have a car which was strange she didn't have a car in order to do that right and also too right around that time period date and all the rest um nikki somehow got on facebook that more than likely wasn't even her that was probably the shady babysitter or the shape uh shady babysitters or the shady pastor because situations have even happened like that where somebody gets on uh social media and acts like somebody else when I made the video on Jolie Musa, when her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, abusive ex-boyfriend, she no longer wanted to be bothered with. Jolie Musa, look up that story. I did a video on that. This situation, her case, right? Supposedly, let me go back to this. Supposedly, Nikki got on Facebook. Now, she she was supposed to, she didn't have a car. She was going to meet up with some un, unknown male, right? Didn't have a car. She gets on Facebook. And post a message saying that she was spending time with her three-year-old child. But she misspelled and she was known for having good grammar. She was very proper on grammar, right? But not only that, in the Facebook message, she got the child's age wrong. That stood out to me the most. To know that, to know that a woman doesn't have a car going to meet with somebody right it's odd stands out even to nikki's uh friends they felt the same way that i do right and yet for her to get on facebook and misspell stuff and yet she was good at grammar and she also get her own child's age wrong on facebook she said that she was spending time with her three-year-old and yet her daughter wasn't three her daughter was two and a half right that one that once again stood out to me like Jolie Musa when I made my video and I was telling the story about how Jolie Musa's ex boyfriend who was highly violent, he was into stalking her and all the rest, she was trying to get away from him, right? Her body was found in the woods, right? But during that time period, the ex boyfriend was indeed on text message texting jolie's mother acting as if he was jolie but he had already killed jolie but he was on the text message acting like he was her isn't that creepy that's completely creepy for you to kill somebody and then use their phone to text their mother or their father and act like you are the child that you just killed talking back and forth with them corresponding right what other video did i do the one story that i i did uh it was the same situation a male killed the female and he got got on a um getting on the phone and you sitting up there on facebook he, he yeah got on fake killed the woman got on facebook and was sitting up there interacting with her mother, family, immediate family, acting like he was her. I bet this, I trust and believe, I bet this is one of them same situations pertaining to the shady pastor and the shady babysitters. Uh, because any mother in their right mind is going to get the child's age right in a Facebook message. And not be misspelling if she's known to not misspell. Now the one part that did hang out pertaining to the misspelling. Uh, is to know that phones. You know phone or cell phones have autocorrect. There's been times where I posted a message. And didn't look at it right away when I pressed post or whatever. Posting the message. And autocorrect changed the lettering on it. So it misspelled it. Right. She had the word break. B R A ke instead of b-r-e-a-k right that's to say even autocorrect on her phone could have misspelled that who knows right but even a sick twisted individual individual could have uh signed in to her uh facebook or her uh yeah signed into her facebook and posted that facebook message 
And the way that a person would be able to do that sort of thing, a killer, is if that killer had access to her phone and she was already signed into Facebook. That's how killers are able to do that sort of thing. People do all type of murder into people. Take their phone, however they get into the phone, right? If some people don't have a passcode on their phone to uh, lock the phone up. Because, see, I got a passcode on all my stuff, right? Some people don't. They just leave their stuff open, right? You should always have a passcode on all your devices, right? Because if somebody want to kill you, they can't get right on Facebook or whatever social media, Instagram and all the rest and act like it's you when it's not, right? But yeah, say if any one of these shady whoever pastor or shady babysitters if if Nikki didn't have a passcode on her phone to lock out the phone after so many seconds or minutes how the phone go black and then you need to put a passcode to get back into the phone, right? If she didn't have that as to say even whoever murdered her after they murdered her, they could have in fact, uh, yeah, got on that phone and got on either went right to Facebook.com or got on Google and went to Facebook, right? Even that is able to be tracked by FBI, right? They could have got right in her phone, went directly on Facebook.com. She, most people that be on social media stay signed in, as in they usually don't sign out, right? Uh, most people use apps because I know if you use an app, as I say, you can be in permanently if you never, yeah, turn the phone off or sign out, whatever, right? It's to say a murderer will have access to your account. They get on there and just act like they you. And that will be the end of that. And then people be wondering, well, what happened to such and such? Such and such got killed. Well, they had a Facebook message right there. No, that wasn't them. That was the killer. <laughs> right. Uh, so. Let me go down. So when it came to Nikki being murdered, right? And Ariana going missing. The shady pastor, more than anything, and the shady babysitters, they didn't even care to know. Because, see, friend request was sent to them, whatever, right? Uh, Nikki's, people that were close to Nikki, right? They, they reached out to those individuals, the shady pastor and the shady babysitters on Facebook, reaching out to them to, yeah trying to correspond wondering why was there no interest in them being concerned sending friend requests wondering why there's no response back a, a individual close to nikki sent a friend request right pertaining to the shady pastor and the shady babysitter sent sent the friend request sent a message as well and got no response why wouldn't it, it, it because see it all shows who the killers are because if you if you a shady pastor and you that concerned about that mother while she was alive, you were that concerned, uh, threatening her for her to bring your baby back, which it, it was Ariana, the baby, you was threatening the mother for her to bring the baby back, which didn't belong to you. It's a say you should have even more concern as even she would have been livid. That shady pastor would have been livid. Because to show that much anger and uh, animosity, uh, taking somebody else's child away, right? As I say, you're going to be in some type of grieving once the child disappears. You see what I'm going with this? I'm able to see who the killer is. Just said it. Uh, you're not going to be trying to take somebody else's baby, invest all this time in stalking uh, a child's mother stalking and all the rest with all that and then once a child goes missing not pushing the mother to the side but somewhat slightly you're not gonna act like you don't show no care that the child is missing because you acted as if you was the child's mother as in you act like you wanted to be you even went evil enough to act that way threatening that child's mother till she died right who don't know that I'm staring a murderer right in the face. As in I'm letting you know who did it, right? Anybody in their right mind that would do that much stalking would just be in chaos and fuming. Screaming even more. Saying, uh, bring my baby back, they're a kidnapper. As in they would be all on the FBI's uh, behind. 
as a child's uh, mother is dead. Does that sound right? Saying who the killer is while I'm on camera, I care not to know who's mad about that. I'm able to figure out. A pastor. Uh, because, see, that just makes common sense. To care that much for a child and took the child to Disneyland and didn't even care about the mother, didn't even consider her feelings as to say, well, you might not be grieving for the mother now that she's dead, but you more than likely will be grieving for the child knowing that she's missing. And yet that pastor shows no type of grieving, no type of care, nothing towards the family member. Uh of Nikki's own end as in the people that was close to Nikki they didn't the, the pastor and babysitters did not respond at all to any of the Facebook messages after the request right to uh, Nikki's own people close to her I won't say who close to her that reached out right yeah you want to be able to know who killed who and why and say it on camera with a mic set on top and possibly a brick somebody might need to break her over the head seriously uh, I out people I don't care I ain't got no shame with even that uh, that's what I do anybody that's scared to out will this or that you don't want to say no you do you in fact want to say because anytime i ain't never scared well what even that anytime it's a child that goes missing as i say even the li the life of the child is in jeopardy who don't know that sort of thing so get out uh as in there's a way you don't have to say names but you can in fact put out identity pertaining to that sort of thing i said it right so the lack of concern because see I'm able to see that sort of thing I'm able to see that that if a if a evil pastor wanted that child so bad it probably would be played out all over TV how she done went off possibly swung on an officer or something trying to search and find uh, little Ariana to see into a bigger picture because see even uh, I was going to say Mexicans right uh, but even people other backgrounds not Asians not whites not blacks right but certain other individuals have a tendency to become very violent right if any harm is done to their family members and to co consider a child your own, right? I know oh, Spanish people, you got all type of people. I, I know uh, Mexicans have known uh, people, yeah, various backgrounds that will be willing to fight and kill if they can't find a baby that goes missing. So it's to say something that's off about the story. Because, see, that's what I'm trying to say. Because if there, if there's no care on the end of the pastor, despite the way that she acted in her evilness with them text messages, right? It's to say even that could have been an act from the beginning or something. Using intimidation to force a child, right? Force a, uh, a mother of a child to hand the child over. And yet, why would she want to do all that intimidating and acting like that? That's to say that even that was real. So where's the rest of the story? Because even that type of woman would, I once again, I said that for the third or sixth time, even that pastor, evil pastor would be intimidating FBI right now as we speak. And possibly would have ended up in jail herself over the baby. You want to repeat stuff like that 20,000 times, right? Uh, they had something to do with it 
the shady pastor and the shady babysitters completely had something to do with it all of it even the murder of the child's mother uh something with that it's all too obvious they could have all taken the child and walked away no murder uh shouldn't have taken place right the other outcome would have been taking the child moving her elsewhere or something like that i just can't be yeah the lack of concern you anytime stuff like this happen like this lack of concern uh a lack of concern will tell you everything there's need needing to know so ariana's description such as body measurements her date of birth was september 6 2013 september 6 2013 her hair was black her height that was during disappearance two feet uh sex female nationality american place of birth california eyes brown her weight 45 pounds during disappearance her race black contact fbi if you or someone you know knows anything on ariana's disappearance or you can contact the nearest american embassy embassy my preference is staying rude in the face i don't care who try to come after me over uh, what i say i don't nobody cares just don't uh because to be man or woman enough wait a minute uh to be man or woman enough i'm going on the wrong thing to be man or woman enough is the to, to do things right not be sitting up there talking about well let me just take a baby let's kill off whatever right no i don't think so somebody in fact needs to go to jail possibly for life but there is people that think that ariana was killed by the babysitters and the evil pastor right you call people for what they are because what would i how would i deal with a pastor that's doing all that stalking i might in fact contact a uh, law enforcement and say you know what the pastor something could be wrong with the pastor right yeah that's a no-go i pass on that type of stuff stuff like that is is laughable pastors like that i just have to point out that because that those type of individuals make the ministry look bad for other people that's out here trying to do right by society and mankind that's doing good uh, by people pertaining to them being in the ministry right people like that they churches and religion and all the rest look bad because what it makes it look like as a pastor more likely was underhanded or something because see to know that a pastor is threatening somebody else's mother to get a child that didn't belong to her is to say well what type of affairs is going on in that pastor's church pertaining to the money and dealings and all that type of other stuff what what type of stuff could be going on um in the church her own church because a person that does that is that domineering and that forceful as i say they could be doing all type of criminal activity yeah even in the church people people are not aware to stuff like that stuff like that just yeah I keep it real in the analysis and asking. Right? I provide your mind to delve deeper, right? That's how you become even more evolved with that. Because all that is very suspicious. 
Because, see, I had to go look up the pastor and all the rest, right? I really didn't care too much for her facial photos. Even with the photo. She had a photo with the young child. You, the stuff that I'm not even saying. About even her, right? As in, you can see the evilness pertaining to the woman I'm speaking on. A pastor, ministers, act all smiley, all the rest, right? And yet behind closed doors, probably in the church, she probably ain't even the greatest. She might put on whatever type of face with that. So I just can see straight through people. That's what makes people mad about me. The pastor is not everything she get puts on. More than likely with her congregation because to be sitting up there praying. And more than likely you had something to do with somebody's murder pertaining to some child and the kidnapping as to say, well, even that. Anything else more need to be said? Possibly not. We're on investigation, uh, yes, dot com. The ID logo stands up in the far left corner. Live now, shattered. Let me scroll down. Let me pause. Screen. So, new episodes to receive an audio-visual preview. That's when you got too much going on. Audio-visual preview, audio preview is a click the play button right here. You would, in fact, receive an audio-visual preview. Unlock episodes. Each video does that sort of thing. Once you scroll over. Unlock episodes. Audio-visual preview. Same thing right here. Unlock series recommended for you. Shouts out to Lieutenant Joe Kenda as well as Paula. ID Go original series. To receive a newsletter from Investigation Discovery is a type your email address in and click next, and you will indeed receive a newsletter from Invest. Did I say an audio? What did I say? To receive a newsletter from Investigation Discovery is a type of email address in and click next. I'm sitting on the next button. I thought I said to receive an audio visual newsletter. Maybe I did. Yeah, I want you to think, uh, consider what I said about who have did what, who could have did what and why. As in scope that out. Usual. Uh, brain for analysis purposes. Peer into a situation. A young child is missing. Right. It's interesting how people just move on. And act like nothing has even occurred. That tells on itself as well. You just move on. Because I can even go as far as even saying adoption papers, adoption agency as even that, uh, even that pastor would have wanted something like that. Does that or does that not make sense? That pastor will be so into that child, wanting that child, that she would do everything, not only to try to find her uh, but possibly knowing that the mother is dead, she will be out here trying to search and rescue the evil pastor, as well as the babysitters, but more so the evil pastor. Because she played her part being so domineering and forceful, right? Trying to put her life into the child's world, right? I'm thinking the evil pastor would want to do that sort of thing. She would want to be out here trying to act as search and rescue having her own teams and squads looking for the child searching rescue teams her own i'm saying because even people have been known to do that sort of thing put together search and rescue teams without fbi and police 
and search for kids themselves and then say if they do find the child the ending conclusion would on her own end that shady pastor would be for her to want to adopt the child if she was to find the child and yet to know that there's no interest there is to say well man i just concluded that's the conclusion right there so i think that's all to be said for now Who don't know that type of stuff who, who wouldn't know that the the ending result is you to say well if we find this baby me being the shady pastor if we find this baby i can in fact take her under my wing and adopt her as my own because to know that the child no longer has a mother as i say the child's mother is dead who we wouldn't want to see the child even the shady babysitters the pastor and the sh shady babysitters we don't want to see the baby going to the system if she's found we we can just try to adopt her out that's to say that might in fact be the answer right there without the adoption papers so i think that's all yeah without the adoption papers to set up i think that's all for now to be said may you enjoy your day i will indeed enjoy mine and i'm gone